Gia here. And I want to talk to you today about resilience tools. One thing I've looked a lot at in my life is how um, we as humans are resilient creatures and how self-sustainability is tantamount to our survival as a human race, as a thriving species, and in direct connection with the planet. So I find very strongly that one of our most incredible ways to find resilience and to connect with our creativity is by accessing the world through sensuality. Through sensuality, we start to recognize what it is to be here in this moment, in our skin, feeling things with our senses. When we can find what that feels like truly, we can be present here in this moment. And that presence brings us to a deep pleasure, an opening of where we are right now and to our potentiality of who we can be and what we can do. So when we uh, guilt or shame ourselves at feeling anything, right, sensuality, different from sexuality for now, though they're connected, but if we guilt ourselves at feeling pleasure or joy or feeling good in any of these moments, especially when someone else is suffering or the whole world is freaking out, then we are doing ourselves a disservice. We are putting ourselves into a small box to get smaller, to feel little, and to disappear. Whereas pleasure and joy allow for us to open and get bigger and relax into the small pleasures of life. So, as I sit here in the park at rush hour with a couple people passing by, I recognize how many of us are potentially disconnected from this here and now, right? Even watching this right now, you are staring at a device and recording this, I am staring into a device. It's very strange how our portals and our borders are only through these phones, these computers that connect us through the satellites and interwebs. So in that, I connect to you through this with the message for you to get off your devices and get into your own senses and your reality, to find the love of being in your space in place and to rejoin the thriving you with yourself through using your senses and getting into this deep sensual love of being where you are through your sensuality. And so, as I like to do, I invite you to dance with that. However it is. You don't need to take a video. You don't need to have a prop. I just want you to turn on a song or in the silence, hum to yourself, find your own rhythm, and find your sense of being here in this presence right now with your own senses. And in that, I want for you to find a little bit of empowerment. I'm doing a burlesque sensuality and empowerment class series coming up online, um, coupled with Belly Dance Nouveau on Tuesday nights on my Patreon. So the buy-in's really low. It's less than $3 a class. It's a monthly buy-in for 11 or 12, 22. And we'll be doing exercises like this. So I invite for you to support me and to support yourself and on our journey. So ground your feet into the ground, take a deep breath, move into the space of awareness, of feeling what the air feels like on your skin, what your breath feels like in your body, how your skin feels touched by your skin. Notice the quality of light coming through your eyeballs, or your eyelids, the incredible sense of being able to hear my voice right now with your ears, and the ambient noise around you. Just take all that in, find your senses, and ground yourself into this present moment. And in that, we dance. I'm going to dance. Feel free to watch, but feel free to close your eyes and just dance as well.
please dance for yourself. Please keep moving in these times. And remember, your sensuality is the very best gift that you can give to yourself. So here, from this funny park corner in City Park, my love to yours. Join me on Patreon where I will be having weekly belly dance and burlesque classes as well as have my online Silk Veil video archive. Your support means everything right now. With this, we will change the world.